Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at longer term trends on the top 10 cryptocurrencies and check out the shitcoin perpetual. There's some good volumes coming in at the all time highs. Also, if you notice from the title, we're going to discuss how you can invest your super money into cryptocurrency. So we're finally getting to that in today's video. If you'd like, you can skip ahead to any of those timestamps if you want to review that section of the video. I'll leave the timestamps in the description down below. Or for the international guys, if you're not interested in investing in Australia, fair enough, then you can skip ahead uh, to any section of the video that you want to check out more so. Okay, so with that in mind and that said, you know what to do, hit that like button down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the bell notification icon so you can get here quicker than the scammers. All right guys, let's dive into the first piece. Quick recap of the trends, fear and greed and the market caps. Cardano, NFT, Ethereum, we've been tracking these for the last couple of weeks and uh, Ethereum it is hovering, NFTs also hovering, Cardano dropping. So we didn't make it to that other peak that we saw at the all time high of Cardano back on the 27th of February. That was the all time high in price and in Google Trends. So we've missed out on that and we have dipped away. Maybe we're going through some sort of consolidation which we'll check out in the charts in just a moment. Uh, Ethereum also just sideways, the same with NFT, that, that energy seems like it has left the market. Something interesting over here, uh, pretty much most of the countries that are searching for crypto or any of these crypto related topics that we have here. Most people are looking at Ethereum, Japan, NFT. So NFT is still pretty hot in Japan, of course, but the rest of us, we've sort of taken a little bit of a breather. Maybe everyone's run out of their own gambling money. Crypto fear and greed, 70. Again, we're continuing to hold this level of around 70 to 80. That extreme greed has left the market for a moment. Hopefully we see it drop back I'd love to see it get into this yellow zone and just consolidate again so that we can take off for a longer sec next section of the bull market. As you've no noticed, we have checked this price out almost every single day since we had this massive drop here in late February to early March. 38 is the current level that we are looking for for a drop. Coin market cap, in this case I'm using CoinGecko today, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance has taken third place again. Uh, the market cap 41 billion with uh, te uh, Tether at 40 billion. I was only going to say Tezos. Cardano 38, Polkadot 35, and XRP down at 23. Uniswap 17 billion. Uh, we'll take a quick look at Litecoin today as well. So 13 billion, Chainlink 12. And that's pretty much wraps us out the top 10. Overall 1.8 trillion. So things are still head uh, steady. And we did see some slight dips over the last 24 hours, it's about 5% here and there. And I think that has scared a lot of people. I mean, it's it's cryptocurrency, guys. Come on. We went from $20,000 to $60,000 Bitcoin. 100% is at 40 grand. 200% is at 60 grand. So a 200% move, and people are getting spooked by 5%, 8%, 10% drops. This is just part and parcel of the drops. Now, if we got a solid drop of 30, 40% in a day just in that period, that's a little more concerning. But over a period of time, it's generally what this sort of market does. Onto the charts. First thing I have here is the shitcoin index perpetual futures. What I'm looking at here is yesterday's data. So we've got strong volume and it's been a reversal day. So that's a good sign. It's a good sign that we have tested these old highs and we potentially will start to break out. Why I'm bringing this up, shitcoin index is basically the index of all of the shit coins. All right. So if we want to see an altcoin season, we want to see some increase in the prices of the altcoins, then we hopefully will see it across the board. And so far, that's what the signs are heading towards. Now I've got my fib on the, the major all time low to the previous top that we saw in early February, just before the rest of the market topped out, projected from the low. And we have just about done an exact 100% of this entire move, which took the market roughly 10 months. So this was from March through to February. So roughly almost 11, well, just over 11 months actually. So yeah, we're getting close to 12 months. And we literally did that in about one month. So from the low to the high, 25 days. You can see the magnitude of the speed that this market has picked up just over the last month, which literally, which took it 
uh, 11 months to do. So keep that in mind when you're looking at trying to get gains. It, the people that were buying here, we've waited 12 months. Now here to do the exact same thing, it's been one month. So this is a sort of stuff that is unsustainable, but the trend is still up. So we're gonna continue to go with the trend. So that's the shit perp. Uh, things are looking rosy on that. That's all I wanted to leave with um, shit perp. Now we're gonna look at uh, total two. This is all of the market caps except Bitcoin. So this is again is lining up for a bit of a breakout, it's just a basic ascending triangle here. You could call it a flag on top of a flag pole. We did rise so quickly. So they're all technical patterns that we could use. But at the end of the day, the idea here is that we've got resistance above, we've got support here. Hopefully we get a break out of the, the, the resistance above. And that's pretty much all we're looking for here. We've got an alert set at 720 billion. You can get a close above that. We're looking really good. So that's also positive at this stage. We've got a bullish pattern here. Potentially see a little bit of drop, take out some of these lows uh, just to wash out some weak hands. That's also a possibility, but at the end of the day, we wanna see that push up, close above uh, within a few days or weeks. That's, you know, it's, it's getting really close to the end of this pattern here. So we gotta wait and see what happens there. Back to Bitcoin. So let's start from the top. Look at our dominance chart. This is also winding up. This is what we're looking at with the double top and we're expecting Bitcoin to continue down. This hasn't held. We saw basically a kind of double bottom. I don't really want to call it that, but you've got a couple of lows here, low and a low. I'm only using these two here. They've gone up, back down, and this looks like it's failed off this mini double bottom. If we get the break below these levels, obviously the next support is down at 60, so we look to test that. Should that break down, then yes, we're, we're heading down yet again. And just to look at that, I think we may get that break. I think we may, just because from a double bottom, we should really uh, move up and hit the 200%. So what I'm looking at here, bottom to top to bottom, the 100% is at around 65. And then the next piece is at 150%, so it's around 67. So we, we barely made it to the 68% level. So that's why I'm thinking that this will probably break down and that's a good sign for alt season, but Bitcoin may just hold its ground above that, uh, you know, sort of the 45 to $60,000 level. Bitcoin itself, we're sitting at 57,000 today. Uh, some of these notes back here, this is from something I put together for the, the class, uh, the membership group. So we'll leave that to the side. <clears throat> On to Bitcoin and today we're sitting at 57,300. Again, a, a, just a wedging pattern. Overall with the swings, we are down. You can see there's a swing bottom here, swing top, bottom, and this is a lower high. If we take a closer look, 6,083, 59,957, and then we've broken down from that. So on a short-term time frame, on a daily, Bitcoin is down. That's the trend on a daily. On a weekly, which is what we're more interested in, weekly is still up. So these are the major swings here. And from that point, it's still up. So we've got to keep going with the trend, but the daily is changing. So now we've got two conflicting trends. I'm not ready to take a position on Bitcoin. I've done all my buying earlier on. So if you are looking to get into the market, I would wait for a signal, not financial advice, but I, for me, if it was me, of course, I want to wait for a signal to come into these markets. Uh, basically a signal to buy. And I don't see a signal here when it comes to the daily chart. Things are just winding up. You want to, We want to get a break from the top or at least break down so that we know that the market is heading lower. Right now, winding up. Onto ETH and not much has changed. That's pretty much what it stands at. Not much has changed. The only thing we want to look at here is the time it's taking to break to the next all time high. So we saw 11 bars. This is a weekly chart like we were, we've been tracking over the channel for several weeks now. August through to November was the break. And so all we're doing is just measuring that same time frame from this top, one, two, three, four, we're into our fifth week now. So we were looking at it between five and 11 weeks to get to the break of this old all time high. People are always wondering, when is it gonna break? When are we gonna get to the next price target? This is how you do it. You're just measuring time frames. All right, so that's, that's pretty much what we've been expecting. That's pretty much it for ETH USD. ETH BTC still holding this ground. It's looking a little shakier. Ideally, we definitely want to see a close above this level sometime soon. Otherwise, 
I'm not looking too hopeful with this breaking down uh, underneath the 0.03 level. So that's Ethereum, not as strong on the ETH BTC chart. ETH USD is okay. It's everything that we've been expecting, everything we've been expecting. So let's take a look at our next one down, which is Binance. So to keep this nice and quick, I'm going to go through Binance USD, Binance BTC and just ETH. Again, it's just winding up. There's not much other news out there. There's a lot of news or well, a lot of people trying to promote news at this point. That's the way I feel. But the markets are just winding up. We're going to see what happens soon. Winding up on Ethereum, Bitcoin, uh, sorry, Binance, Ethereum, winding up. Binance, Bitcoin, winding up. This is trending lower compared to ETH. ETH is still holding its ground. Binance BTC, slight trend lower, but it's still up in its range. Not much can be said. Moving on to our next cryptocurrency, and that is Cardano, number four. Cardano, same deal. On the weekly chart here, we did see a spike out, getting close to the all-time high, but it couldn't get there. And now we're just consolidating again in this range of a dollar to probably around that, I'll call it a dollar 30, just to give it a little more leeway. So we're sitting up here. Ideally, we do want to see it trend up in this area for a few weeks because that is going to give us some more time to accumulate, market to gain some energy before it can get onto its next move. Obviously, we don't want to see it break down. Uh, that would not be a good sign. And then I've got my alerts just set here, just over a dollar. And pretty much the furthest I want to see it go is around that 75 to 80 cent level, just to keep in line with our fibs. So ADA ETH, also just in its trending range up here. We looked at this the other day and it is pretty much just doing what I was thinking may happen if it was going to be a sideways accumulation. ADA BTC, same deal. So there hasn't been that much movement on the markets. That's really what I'm getting at here, just so that people aren't getting too emotionally involved in the markets, getting too scared off. Next on the list is Polkadot. Polkadot is also winding up, except I like the look at this pattern a lot better. We are starting to get those pushes to the upside with higher lows. So at some point, I think this one may be the next one to go. I'm not saying buy, but the wind up here looks a lot better than some of the others that we've just looked at. So Polkadot still ranging, winding up, higher lows, higher highs. That's a good sign. So that's more positive. Dot BTC, it's had a little bounce off the support level, which we had drawn in here. But over, uh, apart from that, we haven't seen too much action. The market's not really doing anything. You're pretty much getting the point here. So from DOT, our next project was XRP, Uniswap, Litecoin. XRP, USD, it's had a little push up, not much, going sideways. XRP, BTC, sideways. All right, we're getting little staggered increases over the last few days, but overall, we're still underneath these resistance zones. So XRP, done. Uni, Uni's had a little bit of a move. Uni's been pushing through all-time highs, probably on the back of the version three news that is continuing to circulate, but I haven't seen too much action above these highs. So that's what keeps me wary. Maybe that news has worn out, maybe it hasn't but there's just really not much in it at this point. I got in around that 27 mark again as a, as a quick trade and not much has happened. So Uni USD looks okay. Uni BTC climbed up a little bit here. Not much is going on in the market again. All right, last couple, we got Litecoin and LTC. So let's go uh, Litecoin and Link, I should say. Litecoin USD, it is trending down. Litecoin BTC continues to trend down. I was very hopeful that we would at least start to find a base, but this has just been going down and down and down and down. Like on you, uh, sorry, yeah, like on BTC, not such a good one here. Last one we want to have a look at before we look at the SMSF stuff is Link USD. This sideways range is really, really holding on here. That's what we have. Lows to highs, highs to lows. We're in a another triangle. <laughs> Nothing much. Link BTC. All right, we are circulating above just the resistance level. So yeah, we've broken through, hopefully holding this as support. Now, the, the big thing here is that it's getting boring. And usually after a boring period, we see an explosion somewhere. I think that's why a lot of people, including myself, are thinking we could see an altcoin season come after this. 
Whether it's the last one, I don't know. How long is it gonna to take to get there? I don't know. But when things are winding up, getting very boring on the charts, that's usually what happens next. It's on all markets, stock markets, traditional markets, anything where you see prices winding up, there's a move one way or the other, up or down. Like it's really that, it sounds stupid, but the wind up is the best part, okay? So that's it for the top 10. Now let's jump across to the SMSF stuff. Now to access your retirement money and put it into an SMSF and invest in crypto and metals, I've teamed up with New Brighton Capital, NBC. And with these guys, uh, we're offering $300 free credit. So for when you set up your SMSF and you get them to manage it, then you'll have $300 free credit to use for your tax accounting. Now they've got a lot of stuff on the website here, 10 step guide, uh, you can call them a 20 minute free obligation consultation. So it's a pretty big offer here. I think this is really generous of them to offer that to you guys. If you use the link in the description, uh, it's an affiliate link and you get, uh, use the word Pazino so that you can get the $300 free credit. So if you do wanna set yourself up, get your SMSF, go and check this out. It's in the link down below. Let's go through and have a look at a few of the details. Uh, actually, when you click the link, you'll get this. Make sure you're on the right website here and then you just come down and schedule your initial SMSF consult. So you get to speak to them for 20 minutes. Make sure you got your questions ready and you go through it all. Don't waste your time or theirs. Um, you know, this is, time is money, all right? So get into it. Let's have a look at the website. This is their official website. Not that there is an unofficial one, but remember there's a lot of scammers out there. So just be sure you've got the right website here, newbrightoncapital.com. Welcome to New Brighton Capital. So if we scroll down, you've got a few of the services here that you can look at, testimonials, lots of stuff here from Aussies. So go through, check that out, make sure you're comfortable with the service. And of course, there's a 20 minute consultation that you can do for free with New Brighton Capital. So check that out. Moving across, they've got that 10 step, 10 step guide, which you can click on once you've clicked through uh, with the affiliate link that's in the description. So it's just here, 10 step guide, click that and you come across to this page here. So you can read all about it before you chat with them. Basically, uh, welcome to your user friendly SMSF. So you've decided this, you wanna go through, Perfect, you want a combination of crypto, shares, precious metals, or cash. So there's no lock-in contracts. It's $150 per month ongoing for yearly tax returns, audit, financial statements, and compliance. So that's about $1,800 a year. Hold your crypto in your own dedicated SMSF hardware wallet, so you don't need to leave it on an exchange. And these guys do the rest. They do all the accounting stuff for you. So, all right, so while there's no legally required uh, minimum, to start an SMSF, you've got to understand whether it's going to be beneficial to how much money you have in your SMSF already. So you've got to come to your own decision. If this is costing $1,800 a year, plus uh, there's about a couple hundred dollars you have to pay to the government, then you've got to decide whether paying two grand or so, maybe a little more in fees, is going to be worthwhile the gains that you could make. So if you've only got a couple of grand in super, then it's probably not worthwhile. So you really got to weigh up your options here to to figure out whether it's going to be worth your while. SMSFs to be established uh, within 24 hours. So this gives you a bit of a time period of how long it will take. So really, if you are thinking about it, it's probably not a bad idea. If it's something that checks out and it makes sense to you, you're probably better, to, better off getting it started sooner rather than later because you never know how long the government's gonna take to get back to you. So uh, they said about three weeks, holding assets within three weeks. 95% of this time is waiting on the ATO. So if you are thinking about it, get it sorted out sooner rather than later. Now you've got your 10 steps to go through. So you've got the links, you can go and check this out in your own time, make sure you read all through it, and then book yourself a consultation with NBC using the affiliate code Pazino. Okay, further down on this page, they show you what you get when you come on board with them. And they have a full uh, client database here that you can click into and find out what's going on, what, where your application is up to. So they've got a nice online portal that's really handy to use as well. So check all that out. Again, this is the link here you want to go through. It's in the description. So click that and then uh, go through, get your free, no obligation consultation. They'll discuss, talk with you how to go about transferring your money over, setting it all up. There's no financial advice in this, so you gotta decide which cryptos you wanna be purchasing for yourself. But in terms of all the tax accounting, that is all done for you with New Brighton Capital. So very excited to have the partnership finally with these guys. 
and uh, make it so much easier for you. So when you're following along on my Instagram, which you can go and follow, link in the description down below, you can follow along with that and you can also see your own SMSF growing. So be very, very careful with it. It is your retirement money. That wraps me up for another video, guys. Be sure to check out New Brighton Capital if you're interested in setting up your own SMSF. The markets, everything is just winding up. Something big is going to happen. No need to freak just yet. There will come a time that freaking out is justified, but for now, I can see it just winding up. And I think, well, at least my bias is to the upside. Not only because I wanna see my income go up or my gains go up, I just see the upside is, is there. We still have a long way to go in this bull market and we're only just getting started. So if you found some value from the video, you know what to do. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, nearly at 100,000 and I have the giveaway coming up. So make sure you leave your email address down below where it says, you know, to get the course, drop your email down there. I'll be picking three winners at this stage for a free giveaway, which I'll have to put in another video for you guys. So make sure you got your email address, leave that down below. Like, share, subscribe, you know the deal. SMSF link down below, all the official stuff down there. Catch you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.